And the reputation of the SNP has taken a brutal battering in recent months with failed First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, the latest in a string of high-profile arrests over financial irregularities within the party. Now, Scotland's new First Minister, Humza Yousas, is refusing to suspend his mentor in light of her arrest, with Sturgeon stewed inexplicably claiming today. Honestly, I promise you he said this. Today, the most impressive politician in Europe. Yeah, I think Sturgeon is the most impressive politician uh, I think we've seen uh, in Europe, and she's an asset to our movement uh, and to our party. It's obviously a difficult time. Uh, it's a very, very difficult time for her. A difficult time for our party, and personally painful to, to many of us too. Well, that's what you call loyal to a fault. Many were expecting Nasty Nick to fall on her sword after she obsessively called for the resignation of rival politicians during her own career. Um, and to have a Prime Minister continue in office in those circumstances, I think, is unthinkable. But a sense of corruption at the heart of the Westminster system, and that has to be rooted out. Given that Boris Johnson has so clearly lost the confidence of the UK, it is just, I think, an unsustainable proposition to say that he will continue... Feels like the end might be nigh for Johnson. Not a moment too soon. Notable, though, that the resigning ministers were only prepared to go when they were lied to. They defended him lying to the public. The whole rotten lot need to go. And Scotland needs the permanent alternative of independence. So it looks like it's one rule for her, right, and another for Westminster. So Megan Gallagher, uh, with the SNP's reputation now hitting rock bottom, is the party of broken promises now finished in Scotland? Well, I think it was widely anticipated that Nicola Sturgeon would be arrested. However, what I think the public might find unsettling is the rank hypocrisy being shown by Hamza Yusuf and the, the, the SNP. Well, Nicola Sturgeon herself was party leader, uh, SNP politicians were suspended, they had the whip removed while investigations were ongoing. That happened to the likes of Michelle Thompson and Derek Mackay. And actually, in the instance of Derek Mackay, um, he was a serving cabinet secretary in Nicola Sturgeon's own government when he was suspended. So I think the public will be asking questions now. They'll be asking questions, you know, why is, is Nicola Sturgeon receiving preferential treatment? Why is Nicola Sturgeon being treated differently? So I think what we're seeing now is a, a government that is engulfed in chaos and scandal, but it's a government that's deeply distracted from the, the priorities of the day job of governing, focusing on issues such as our cost of living crisis and tackling issues in our NHS. So oh, yeah. that's... That well, I mean, the SNP has run Scotland into the ground. We know that. How extraordinary, though, did you see it, seeing the First Minister today? Uh, he didn't just say, oh, I, I stand by Sturgeon because, look, she got me this job. Let's be honest, I'm only in this job because of her. He actually said he actually wants us to believe that she is the best politician in the history of of Europe. I mean, that is insane. <laughs> Certainly not the case at all. Um, Nicola Sturgeon left office causing division with everything that she did while being in government. So she is certainly not as, as the, the new um, First Minister describes. But I think you, you've hit the nail on the head. Um, certainly, I think Hamza Yusuf owes a lot to Nicola Sturgeon. I think it was Nicola Sturgeon and her cabal um, that made sure that Hamza Yusuf got yeah. over the line in terms of the, the SNP leadership contest.